Hey guys, Chip here. I want to share with you something I've been working on for a while. It's an interesting project for a number of reasons, which we'll get into a little bit later. If any of you have ever heard of MD, which is Markdown, Markdown is a, a text file that has implied semantics, but it's also very easy to read. Like here's a guide for LLMs and it tells you what's going on here. So it kind of gives you, you know, you can see that the number two, that will be a, a heading two. One is a heading one. One of the cool things about it is that you can convert it into a lot of different things. A lot of AIs read it natively. It's used for config files. It's used for a lot of things. A lot of people use it for documentation, which is what I plan on doing is using it for documentation. In fact, right now, all my documentation is kept on Google Docs and I can export from Google Docs to Markdown. The first step in that is how do I view this Markdown in a way that makes sense and edit it in a way that makes sense. So I've actually created this app called MB Docs and let me show you what it does. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab like, for instance, this is a Kit, KitOps file that came from Google. When I click in here, here's the Markdown and this is it rendered. I can choose different versions of it, how I want it to look rendered. You can edit your own rendering templates and things like that. The whole idea is that you can actually scroll through here. You can see all of the uh, table contents. So all of the headings you'll see in here, they'll show up in table contents. And then of course, if you have more files, you click over here and this is the folder that this was found in. I can scroll down here and say, you know, let's go to something like design. So now you can see, now we have another folder ready to go. You can do things like add images and stuff like that. Let me see if I have any images in here. Let's just say we're going to stick an image here. So I can just hit return a couple of times, just put an image in here. I'll scroll down and find an image here. Let's just right click on this and say a copy path. So I can stick it right there, select the text that you want to replace and hit paste. Now you see this little image showed up right there that we copied, right? So you can put whatever that is right here. You can import images. You can put movies in here. You can actually create code blocks. So I'm just adding a bunch of text and I can select all that text and make a code block out of it. You can see right here now that's all part of this little code block here. Different versions will render it differently as well. Let's just go to modern dark. I will share this with you. Oh, one last thing I'll mention. This is a KidOps file that came from Google. And it has, as you can see, it's got images in it. As we scroll down here, we'll see we've got images here, you know, different things like that. And the way this is, uh, well, Google exports it. They export all this stuff in the back. This is what's called bin hex 64. It's encoded images directly in here. And a lot of times you don't want that. So you can come up here and you say, export all those images from this file. And it'll give you a folder of these. And then it'll also convert. So if I say export these images, It'll give me a folder and it'll say replace. You basically replace it with the file you roll, then you can save it. So that's a cool feature. If you want to convert something from Google Docs that has images, you can use that to do that. And then there's find and replace that you can do. You can search, do all that in here as well. There's also in the preferences, you can change this to if you want something a little bigger to work with, or you can also identify where when you want to see this. For instance, if I want to go here and hit this button to export to a browser. I can bring over here and you can see this is what it looks like in a browser. That file, by the way, is, is you know, this is the file that, that we exported and it has a folder with the same name with images in it. So if you have images in there, it'll also show all of those. Let's go to downloads and look at here. Here's all the images that we're going to have in that particular document. So it exported all of those correctly and then it linked them back up into this index. If I view the source on here, you see that we have all these images that have been linked correctly. So we no longer have all that bit hex data at the bottom of it. They're all just linked locally. This is kind of a cool product. I've been wanting something like this for a while. There's some online versions. I've never found one that I liked that was free and could run on the desktop. So anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think. It's going to be free on my Patreon for all of you that want to grab it. It's a portable app, by the way. Oh, one more thing I'll show you. If you want it to launch. So if we go in here and let's just say I've got, let's go back to my downloads and let's say I want to launch Electron Best Pie Practices. Double click on here. I can double click and launch it. If I want to do that, I'm going to want to go into the settings panel and go into apps. By the way, this is only Windows right now. If you want a Mac version, let me know. I can probably roll a Mac version, not too distant future. It's not probably that difficult. So you go into apps, default apps, 
type in .nd, and you can link it up, find the actual app, scroll to the bottom, choose an app on your PC. Remember, it's a zip file, so unzip it wherever you want, like on your desktop. I have it in a portal apps folder. Unzip it there, and then just find the actual executable. Let's see if I, if I go and find the, uh, find it here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Portable apps. Here it is. Double click and that's it. So I just select that and that's how that would, that's really it. I hope you find this helpful and useful. I think version 0.2 will be the one you'll be looking for. If it's a newer one, it'll be even 0.3. I might have, if I find bugs, of course, update, but I'll put a link to it to all my patrons. Thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.